You are now listening to Horganize with professional organizer and extreme cleaner Rachel Seavey. Every Sunday at 6 p.m., Rachel shares organizing tips and hacks. Rachel combines her experience, expertise, and compassion to help people learn new methods on how to deal with overwhelming clutter. Her media appearances include The Hoarders Show, The CBS Sunday Morning Show, and The Lady Brain Show. Take it away, Rachel. Hey, collectors. Thank you for tuning in to the Hoardganize podcast. Welcome to episode number 10. I am your host, Rachel Seavey, and this is it. You've made it, episode 10 of the Where Do I Begin series. Congratulations. Hopefully, you've learned lots of tools and hacks on how to tackle your hoard. Um, But, you know, this last episode is just as important as earlier episodes. And this last episode can be played in between other episodes because we are talking about rewarding yourself. So you may reward yourself. I'll let you sit with that for a second. I know that you think you're a terrible, horrible, miserable person for letting your house get like this. And you probably think that you don't deserve any sort of reward at all. Rewarding yourself might have to be one of those things that you have to get used to, just like you have to get used to decluttering. A lot of people that I work with are very upset with themselves and they're very hard on themselves and they don't feel like they deserve a reward. And, and you don't even have to reward yourself every single time you declutter, but a lot of people do. It provides them with some incentive. You just want to make sure that you're making a conscious effort to always tell yourself you're doing a great job if you don't do anything additional to reward yourself. In my opinion, you should reward yourself after every decluttering session. I don't see any harm to this. And when I say reward yourself, I don't mean buying yourself anything. Do not buy yourself something to reward yourself. We aren't talking about those kinds of rewards. And you don't even have to spend a bunch of bucks. Rewarding yourself can simply mean that you let yourself know that you're doing a great job. Pat yourself on the back, look yourself in the eye in the mirror, and reward yourself with kind words. You can also do something that you really enjoy doing and turn it into a reward. I absolutely adore you with collectors, and I just want you to know that a reward is absolutely deserved, and you can make it fun. You can limit doing the things you enjoy and turn them into rewards. So I came up with 25 things that you can do to reward yourself for your amazing decluttering efforts. Number one, pet your animals. Pet your cat or your dog or your bearded dragon like I have. It makes you feel good and it makes them feel good. That's a real simple thing you can do to reward yourself after decluttering. How about taking a nice hot bubble bath or a long shower? That's pretty easy. You don't have to go anywhere. Get your muscles nice and relaxed. Simple solution on how to reward yourself. Number three, watch a movie. How about not turning on the TV until you have decluttered a little bit? And then rewarding yourself afterwards with a movie or one of your favorite television shows. Number four, have some ice cream. I don't think anybody would mind having some ice cream as a reward. If you are on a diet, you can have sorbet or frozen yogurt. Treat yourself to something nice and cool after decluttering. Number five. This is something I always do to treat myself after a long week at work. Get a mani-pedi. 
I don't know. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do. Um, I treat myself to a mani-pedi whenever I've had a really long week at work. Number six, give yourself a facial. Why not? I know most of you have a ton of product around, and you might have even sorted some of it. So put some of it to use. Give yourself a facial. Relax. Number seven, play a musical instrument. How much fun is it to declutter and then spend some time on the piano or spend some time strumming the guitar? Playing a musical instrument after decluttering is a great, great, great way to reward yourself. Number eight, dance. Some of you are dancers, but you haven't danced in a while. You feel like you're too depressed to dance and there might not even be room in your house to dance. Go outside and dance. Number nine, sing. For all of you that can sing well, reward yourself, <coughs> excuse me, reward yourself by singing one of your favorite songs. Make yourself smile. <laughs> Number 10, put on some music. Crank it up, rock out, get to jamming. That's always a fun way to reward yourself after doing anything. Number 11, take yourself out to a nice meal. You deserve it. Go to your favorite restaurant, take yourself out to a nice meal, and tell yourself at that meal that you are rewarding yourself for your decluttering efforts. Number 12, take a walk outside. Take a walk around the neighborhood. Bring your dog. If you have one, go hiking. Getting into nature and away from all that clutter is a wonderful, wonderful way to reward yourself. Number 13, if you have a green thumb, garden. Go out and prune all your bushes when you're done decluttering. If that's something that relaxes you and that you enjoy, gardening is a great way to reward yourself. Number 14, watch the clouds go by. Remember doing this as a kid? That's a great way to relax, reward yourself, be in the moment, feel grounded. It's a great way to reward yourself after decluttering. 15, play with your grandkids or your nieces or nephew or your dog. Playing games and playing with other people is a great way to reward yourself. Maybe you're on a bowling team. Maybe you want to be on a bowling team. Think about it. There are lots of fun ways to reward yourself that have nothing to do with acquiring stuff. Number 16, instead of using your normal lotion, use one of those fancy ones you own, kind of like the facial. Start using all that product that you've been hoarding. Treat yourself nice. Number 17, I love this one. I think people should do this more often. Serve your next meal on that fine china that you've never opened or used. We're never promised tomorrow. You should really indulge and enjoy and use all of those place settings and serving and all those little pieces you love to collect. Go ahead and use them. Number 18, fly a kite. Especially if you're in the Bay Area and it's windy it's always a fun thing to do. I honestly have a kite in the back of my car. My son and I like to fly kites. Number 19, exercise. Go work out. I know some of you don't like to, but maybe you can do some stretches uh, at home to reward yourself and uh, also relieve your back if you've been bending or stooping or lifting. Yoga is really a, a kind of a fun thing to pick up if you are into that sort of a thing. 
Number 20, blow some bubbles. Go buy some of that bubble solution or make some up. I'm sure Pinterest has some sort of a recipe with dish soap and water. And go outside and blow some bubbles. 21, go to the beach. Bury your feet in the sand. Listen to the ocean. Build a sandcastle. Number 22, sit outside and let the sunlight warm your face. That's a real simple one. It's a great way to decompress after you've been decluttering. Number 23, color in a coloring book. Do some art. Paint. Get out your creative. That's a great way to reward yourself. Number 24, Sleep in. Have you been up all night sorting and trying to get organized? Treat yourself to sleeping in the next day if you can. It also works the other way. Number 25, stay up. If you're used to going to bed early, stay up. Watch a movie. Do a combination of things. Grab some ice cream. Pet your dog. These are 25 ways, collectors, that you can reward yourself after decluttering because you deserve it. This is a life change. This is something that you need to be consistent and focused with. And after you're done, you should definitely let yourself know you're doing a great job and reward yourself. The possibilities are truly endless. Pick something you absolutely love to do and only allow yourself to do it after you've decluttered. It's kind of simple. If you sit around watching hours of TV and that's what you enjoy, then only allow yourself to do that after you've decluttered. You must acknowledge and congratulate yourself during this process. Rewarding yourself during the process is part of the process and becoming your own best friend and letting go of the judgment you place upon yourself is a part of the process. Thanks for tuning in collectors. If you happen to be listening to this on YouTube, please, please, please click the thumbs up button or you can subscribe to my page and uh, leave a comment there. Include what you like to do to reward yourself. I'd love for this list to keep growing. Until next time, collectors, just remember happiness is a place between too little and too much. Thanks for tuning in to Hordganize with Rachel Seavey. Listen every Sunday at 6 p.m. or watch on Collector Care's YouTube channel. Rachel is the owner of Collector Care Professional Organizers and Extreme Cleaners located in sunny Northern California. Her passion is helping those overwhelmed with clutter and she regularly speaks to families, local agencies, and the public about chronic disorganization and hoarding disorder. Her popular Affirmations for Collectors download can be found on iTunes or Amazon. Sign up for her blog and receive 7 tips for clutter-free living at CollectorCare.com.